Come and pick me up, no headlights. You know what this is? This right here is my kryptonite. This has been probably the single hardest thing to stay away from over the past couple months while I've been on my diet. But today, just today, I get to enjoy this. Oh yes. What's going on everybody? My name is John. Thank you so much for tuning in. Now today I'm going to be telling you a little bit of what's been happening over the past couple of months in my own life. And it's going to be kind of like a fitness weight loss video. I hope that I can inspire some people today just by today's video. But if you're tuning in and you want to know some of the things that I've been doing that you could potentially use, then I hope that this video assists you. <sighs> now, I'm sorry about that. I had to get that burp out. Now, anyways, let's talk about some of the things in regards to fitness and, and health. Now, I am not the most fittest person, but I have been making incredible strides in perfecting and getting to that health and fitness goal that I want to be at. So these are the things that have really helped me in my process to where I am now. Number one, probably the most important thing was diet. Now, for some of you guys, this may not work accordingly, but for me, this has helped out tremendously. I started intermittent fasting on May 30th. I would open up an eight hour window from about 12 to eight, and in that window, I would eat whenever I would be hungry, but I would also watch my calorie intake, and I would make sure that I was eating relatively healthy. Now, most of you guys know this already, but for those of you guys who don't know, Chipotle has been a huge staple in my diet. I probably have eaten Chipotle over the past couple months at least, at least five times a week. And there would be days where I'd eat it twice a day during my eight hour window. Now, when I go to Chipotle, I stick to the relatively healthier side of Chipotle. So I cut out cheese, I cut out sour cream. This is what my typical Chipotle looks like. When I go in, I ask for a bowl. And I don't get the burrito because that's just extra unnecessary carbs. Um, I go in and I ask for a small scoop of brown rice. I ask for a double portion of beans, so I get black and pinto beans. Then I get half chicken, half steak. If you're really looking to um, cut, then I would advise you not to get red meat, but I personally like steak, I like red meat, so I ask for half chicken, half steak. Then I get a small scoop of pico de gallo, and then I get two scoops of corn because I really enjoy corn. I love the sweetness that it brings, so it has that sweet and savory flavor in the bowl. And I get guacamole only on days that I get paid. That's what my makeup is right now. And, and I discipline myself to eat it every single day or nearly close to every single day because it's something that is relatively healthy compared to going in the fast food line and getting like a crispy fried chicken sandwich with a bunch of fries and a Coke or, you know, like, like a pasta dish or anything like that. It has a good amount of carbohydrates, it has a good amount of protein, and there are healthy fats that are available like the guacamole. Benefiting off of the health factor, being able to work out. Now, when it comes to working out, it's always been about discipline and going to the gym. There have been many a days where I've just not had the energy. I've even thought about, hey, like, it would just be okay to take a day off. Now, don't get me wrong, I take my rest days. I know how to treat my body in regards to allowing it to recover, but there are days where I'm just like, well, rather than going five times to the gym this week, let's just do three or four. Let's just take a few more days off to allow my body to recover. But in all honesty for myself, I've pushed myself to say, get to the gym because 90% of the battle is mental. And once you get there, once you start lifting, you're gonna start to feel the energy, you're gonna start to feel the adrenaline and you won't be tired. Now, 
That has been proven to be the case. I would go to the gym, I'd start lifting, and I'd feel this burst of energy, and I'd be really glad to be at the gym. But there have been a couple days where I've struggled and I've fought. You, you will feel tired, you will feel drained, you will feel as if they're, as if you're just absolutely beat up. But I'm gonna tell you this, keep pressing forward. Another thing that has helped me out tremendously, and that's bananas. I love bananas. This first off, they taste really good. Secondly, they are filling. And third, the texture is great. And so I would use a banana, I would eat a banana because they are just really good meal, they're just really good uh, placeholders before your next meal. And so bananas have been a huge thing uh, within my diet. Now the last thing that I'm gonna be sharing with you guys is really low key. And links will be down below of the thing that I use, and I hope that it really blesses you. But I use apple cider vinegar every single night. I get two tablespoons and I do dilute it with eight ounces of water and I drink that through a straw. The reason why I drink it through a straw is because it's slightly acidic and I don't want it to mess with my teeth. Along with apple cider vinegar, I've been taking multivitamins and cumin, and that has helped out with my digestive health, it's helped out with inflammation, and it's helped out with recovery. These are a few small tips for you in your process moving forward that maybe you can implement. Now it may sound like a lot, but honestly it's not a lot. The biggest thing that I'll tell you, if you take away one thing from this video that has helped me is just simply saying no. No to the unhealthy things, no to soda, no to fried food, no to fast food. Just simply saying no and just looking to healthier alternatives. Other than that, you guys, I hope that you guys enjoyed this update video. If you have any questions or comments or encouragements, please leave it down below. Until the next one, you guys, love you. Thank you so much for the support. Peace. Hi, thank you. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get the... You guys do a McPick 2 still? Yes. Uh, is it just the breakfast? Uh, no. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, you guys still do the McDouble and the McChicken? Yes. Okay, let's do that and a large Coke, no ice. Double chicken, large Coke, yeah, it's been a while since I've been at McDonald's, so. <laughs> Welcome back. Yeah, thanks. All right, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. All right, your total is going to be 385 at the first window. Thank you. Thank you.